Welcome everyone back to Tech Check. My name's Gareth and hopefully you're going to join me today for a little bit of a setup tour. Now, over the last two to three months, I've been getting question after question after question about you ha uh, your setup's not in the house, so where is it? And why is it so cold all the time? And how do you actually make these videos? Because it's an absolute nightmare if you've got no space. So today, stick around. I'm going to show you where I build these videos, well, where I make these videos, where I build these computers, and give you a slight tour of number one, my cabin, and number two, my full setup. So here you are guys, apologies for the stability of uh, the camera and stuff like that, I'm actually just holding it up on the tripod. So um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on where I actually film these videos, especially doing the computer builds and doing the reviews and stuff like that. So as you can see, we're currently in my back garden at this moment in time and this massive, massive cabin behind me is something that took me absolutely ages uh, to actually build um, took me around three months to build blood sweat and tears but it's absolutely phenomenal it gives me a, a huge space to work in um, not just for building computers and stuff like that or my studio and stuff but it gives me a workshop it's given the family a bit of a entertainment area as well so let's go and have a quick, a quick tour around and uh, I'll let you see what's around just I walk backwards I walk backwards so as you can see guys it is quite a large uh, quite a large uh, cabin and this tripod's getting heavy wow it's bloody heavy so in this particular bit here we have um, my workshop and stuff like that so it's quite a fairly big workshop oh. so We've got table saws, we've got mitre saws, we've got loads of racking and stuff like that. So good space to store barbecues, loads of wood. And if I want to do any kind of work or anything like that, it's perfect to uh, actually do any little projects and stuff like that in here. So on in total, um, the cabin is 45 foot in length and it's 14 foot in, in width as well. So it's a it's a really, really good size, um, should we say, building to actually work in as well. So as we approach this bit here, I think the little lad might have come in. Oh, let's turn some lights on. There we go, right. So in here, guys, we've actually got um, a 4K cinema uh, room in here. So it boasts um, a 5.1.2 yeah, uh, Dolby Atmos surround sound. Um, it's using a 4K Optima HD60 uh, 4K projector. And down here, we've got a 140 inch, really nice screen from screen, uh, Elite Screens. So here we are guys, this is the 9.2 um, receiver uh, from Pioneer. We've got an old Xbox on the top there. Um, I've been relegated to the, the standard Xbox. Uh, we've got the Xbox One X, which is uh, in the little boy's bedroom. And then we've got the new Series X, which is in the front room. So dad gets uh, the old Xbox just as a Blu-ray player or DVD player just in here. So um, we've got a clips surround sound. Uh, in in here absolutely love clips uh, fantastic quality the front speakers uh, and center speaker and then we've got a small 12 inch uh, subwoofer down there from clips as well as i said previously we've got a 140 inch screen from screen excellence absolutely phenomenal all the lights are on at the minute so it ain't great but we've also got a log burner um, which is there, it's just been on today because it's absolutely freezing. And then we've got a nice little corner sofa which seats four people around here. Then in the back, we've got some smaller uh, bookshelf speakers from Klipsch as well. One up there, one up there. And then in the ceiling, we've got some uh, Polk audio um, down speakers as well. And like I said, we've got the HD60 from um optima as well so massive fun of optima really good quality if i just turn these lights out 
Let's see if we can get this light out here. There we go. Pull this curtain to. That's the only thing I would say with regards to Optima. They aren't the, the brightest, i.e. the lumens aren't amazing. But as you can see there, that's not actually at 4K. It's only at 1080. But still an amazing picture. And at night time, when it's pitch black, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's much better than my 17-inch uh, 4K TV, which is in the front room. So that's it really guys, as we said, it's got a 9.2 receiver from Pioneer. We boast in a, a 5.1.2 surround system via Clips with two uh, Polk Audio Atmos speakers which are obviously in the roof. Um, we've got a desk which is chucked here just so it's out of the way so I can give you a bit more of a, a walk around uh, the gaming room. Um, log burner, Optima HD 60 and uh, yeah, I wanted to keep it pretty basic in here. The only thing that we haven't completed in here so far is we haven't put any of the RGB lights or anything like that. So one thing that we are doing is there's an RGB which goes all the way around the bottom of the sofa and then there's another one that's going all the way around the screen uh, as well. But other than that, there is a few bits and bobs in here which need to be moved or changed or got rid of, etc, etc. But other than that, yeah, it's quite minimalistic, just as I wanted it. Um, the only thing that I have taken out, which aren't currently in, is the, the soundproofing. So I custom made some soundproofing panels which goes all in between um, the pictures that you can see. So I have 10 um, basically custom made uh, soundproofing panels which just really help the acoustics in here. Now, I really like the acoustics in here without them up, but you can tell a big, big difference when they are up and it does sound better overall. So yeah, overall, that's it. Nice little picture out there. So when I built this cabin, uh, as I said previously, it took me around three months to do. Uh, it's fully insulated with 75 uh, mil, um, should we say insulation. Um, it's cladded, it's got triple glazing all around. Um, it's got a fully uh, fledged rubber roof as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with regards to how it's turned out and stuff like that. So. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's take a look, well, let's go and have a look at the gaming room. As you can see through there, you should notice that there is some light emitting from behind the back of that bookshelf and I've not put a door on here. Number one, because I wanted the heat from the, the log burner to actually go through into that room. And number two, when the kids and things are in here, it's always nice to be able to, number one, quickly jump out my seat and jump in here um, and number two, Primarily, I built this for the whole family and it's normally just me and my oldest son which is in here. He's normally either playing Xbox in here if he can't be bothered or his mum's going mad in the house. Or I'm on the computer in the gaming room doing something, either gaming or building something. So let's have a quick look through here. Do, do, do. So, welcome to my little haven. So, and when I say little, I mean little as well, because even though this cabin is 45 foot long, um, in here, it's what, seven foot wide by 14 foot long? So, um, yeah, not the, not the biggest of absolute spaces. So, from, from, in fact, from the door, we've got the bookshelves behind me, and then we come in, and this is the normal view that you guys tend to see um everything from well normally from from around here primarily because it's the longest distance and second of all because it kind of looks the best as well it's got the setup in the background and to be quite frank with you that's where most of the lights emitting from from literally in front of me here pointing backwards so um yeah so Basically, these are my bookshelves. Everything that I've, I've get and I keep in good condition, i.e. boxes or I don't want to throw them away, I just shove them on here. It's always served me in terms of if you ever want to sell anything or anything like that, you tend to find that you can get better pictures. And not only that, 
people tend to want to buy things when they've got the original packaging as well. So you may be able to get a little, well, a little bit more money for them as well. So not everybody's cup of tea um, presenting their old boxes and stuff like that. Totally get it. For me, I wanted something just to fill up these spaces. Don't know whether I'm going to keep them all like this. I'm not sure, but serves its purpose at this moment in time. So moving on to this wall. Obviously, I've done videos on all this previously, but we hung uh, these pictures on the wall just to fill out this room here as well. Moving on to computer. Uh, you guys know that's my personal build there. Um, we're rocking a 5950X in a Leon Lee XL case. Um, still waiting for the 3080, which is an absolute nightmare. Guys, keep your heads up. Um, we've just had notifications, obviously, 3080Ti should be releasing at the end of January, start of February. So get to them bots working quickly and get them drops on Discord and everything else that goes along with it because obviously it's another graphics card we probably won't be able to get hold of. So um, at the minute in that build, we're rocking a 2080 Ti. As you can see there, I've got multiple of those cards. I'm a massive fan of the Strix uh, OC cards as well. So um, I'm gonna continue to obviously use them until we can either get this 3080 or 3080 Ti. Still no news on the 3090. I'm about 390th in the queue on that one. Um, Overclockers messaged me yesterday stating that I was 730th in the queue for the 3080OC one as well. So I feel everybody's pain. There's, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, I'm just gonna obviously chuck my hat in the ring to see if we can get one of these 3080 Ti's and hopefully We'll, uh, we'll be a little bit luckier than we were before. So I'm gonna turn this camera around guys because you're sick and tired of seeing me and then I'll just give you some visuals of what we've got in here and I may turn the light on as well, get rid of some of uh, the darkness for you. So here we are guys, this is my personal rig. This is the Leon Lee XL via uh, ROG and DeBauer. It's got a 5950X uh, with a 2080Ti. We're still waiting on the 3080s and 3090s. No news, I know there was around 30 or 40 drop this week, so we're still around seven to 750th in the queue. It's rocking um, custom um, cable kit via cable mod. It's got 32 gigs of G-Skill uh, C16 uh, RAM in there at 36 meg uh, 3600 megahertz. It's got 10 uh, fans, seven of which are QL120s and three of them which are ML120s on the new Corsair Capilex uh, 360 all-in-one cooler. Um, overall, absolutely a standing build, no issues, no problems, demolishes absolutely everything you throw at it, and in all honesty, the 2080 Ti is still smashing everything that I'm putting it through as well. So. Um, I think potential upgrades, I have put an order in for three more QL120s so we can do a push-pull on uh, the all-in-one cooler. We can get rid of those three black fans and hide them around the back. Benefit from cool attempts on the CPU. But overall, um, temperatures are absolutely fantastic. I um, don't get any more than around 77, 78 on the GPU, and I never see above 65, 66 on the CPU either. So absolutely phenomenal. Moving on to the three screens, guys. These are all Asus screens. These are PG27 9Q screens. Absolutely amazing. IPS panels. Um, I think, don't quote me, I, they may be 4 uh, MS. Um, but I don't know, I, I can't be 100% sure, but I know that they're 165 hertz, they're G-Sync compatible, they are or were a few years ago the top of the line um, IPS panels. Now I know that there's obviously new models which are coming out, some of which are obviously 4K 144 hertz as well. You've also got some Asus panels which are 25 inch, um, 240 hertz and 360 hertz as well. So. Obviously they're at 1080p, so if you're looking for high refresh at 1080p, Asus are one of the most, should we say, they're, they're the leading um, suppliers of high refresh rate monitors, but 
with anything that's uh, new technology you obviously pay through it through price so on the desk guys you can see here we are uh, we've also got a go lxr uh, as well absolutely fantastic uh, previously i was using a focus right uh, 212 and this has totally eradicated the need for that um, i will put it out there that the mic that i'm using is um a Shure SMB7. A lot of people say that you actually need uh, a cloud lifter to be able to run this mic off of the Go XLR, and that is totally inaccurate. Um, I've tested it, tried it. Yes, you do get a better performance with the Shure SMB7B uh, with a cloud lifter, and there's not as much gain that's required, uh, and there is a well, a much crisper output, but. Um, you do not actually need it in order to obviously use uh, that Shure SMB7 or Shure SM7B with the Go XLR. Um, next to that, we've got my Stream Deck by uh, Elgato as well. Absolutely fantastic little piece of kit. If you're a content creator, if you're doing any type of editing, you can add shortcuts onto it. You can. It just gives you an overall better, um, should we say, performance when you're actually streaming as well so moving from one scene to the next it's effortless press one button everything's all good uh, on top of that we've also got a corsair k95 had this for a few years now tried a couple of other keyboards from other people i've got a wireless one from um logitech as well um not really got on with it that much to be quite honest with you nothing to do with regards to latency uh, their light speed uh, functionality is absolutely amazing i'm just so used to the k95 and corsair that i've uh, not brought myself to persevere to switch to it to be honest so again great thing about corsair is it links everything together with any asus products through iq as well so you don't need loads and loads of different rgb software on your actual uh, computer as well so one other thing guys uh, for speakers or headphones i use the biodynamic dt 990 pros absolutely phenomenal headset this guys 100 pounds or 100 and between 100 and 120 pounds uh, off amazon and absolutely phenomenal headset for just anything that you're looking to do um I've had a number of different headsets, wireless, wired, from different manufacturers, and I can honestly say for, <laughs> for anything that you want to do, whether it's gaming, whether it's editing, whether it's for comfort, uh, whether you want to keep them on all day, they're absolutely phenomenal. The only downside to it, guys, is you need to make sure that you have got... Um, something powerful enough to obviously run them being 250 ohms you can't just plug them into your phone and expect them to work because you need something to drive them uh, because they are power hungry shall we say for a mouse we've got um, the infamous g pro wireless i took the buttons off this side not put them back on but they are magnetic you can just simply pull them out and push them back in the other side obviously wireless as well um, G Pro, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, their latency is really nearly, well, nearly non-existent. Um, absolutely phenomenal mouse, guys. It's really lightweight. Logitech have bought a new one out called, obviously, a lightweight version. Um, but for me, I love this mouse. And I can't say enough good things about it, to be honest. So if you are in the market for a lightweight wireless mouse, I can't suggest any other mouse except for this one. So gaming chair of choice guys, this is the Arosi uh, and I absolutely love this chair. Um, not the most expensive chair, I can tell you now that this chair I bought for around £180. Um, absolutely fantastic, like I said, had it for around a year. I uh, had no issues whatsoever guys. Um, it does anything and everything that uh, a chair twice the cost actually does so not knocking on gt or noble or any of the other larger gaming chair manufacturers um 
Obviously for me, I've had GT Omega chairs and I've had a Noble chair as well. Um, I know that there's some out there that I would love to have, uh, such as the Titan and stuff like that. I've not had the chance to purchase one due to obviously cost, but uh, this chair, uh, for all intents and purposes, has been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, for £180, I can't say enough good things about it. It's got all the functionality that you're looking for. The only thing that I would say is, is it the most comfortable chair that you've ever sat in? Um, not necessarily. I think that now I've used it for, on average, four to five hours a day. Um, I believe that my backside could do it with a little bit more cushioning, but I don't know whether that's my age or whether it's the chair itself. So really really good i would recommend this chair for an entry level or budget gaming chair obviously when i say budget 180 pounds is still expensive uh, but comparable to others it's it's half the cost so if you're looking for a fantastic chair at a really good cost um obviously i would point you in the direction of a rosie for price uh, against performance so my desk guys is a custom um breakfast bar that I, I purchased from a local kitchen manufacturer. Um, I, I wanted a breakfast bar due to obviously the depth. So the depth of this uh, table is it's around 80 centimeters in depth and it's 190, 195 centimeters uh, in width. I um, wanted something which was gonna be a hella sturdy um, but something that was slightly different to what everybody does typically, which is the Colby from Ikea. So I did follow trend with regards to the Alex drawers. They're obviously from Ikea. Um, for anyone that's looking for them, it's very, very difficult at this moment in time. Ikea just can't stop them quick enough. So if you are looking for them, it's uh, Ikea and Ikea only, unless you're obviously looking to do something custom. Uh, but overall, they're just on four little uh, table oh, table legs, really. Um, I purchased them from Amazon. I think there was around £20. Um, do a really good job. Overall, guys, absolutely over the moon with it. And it's all finished off by uh, the foam from Arrow Zoom, which is up there. This is not the, the cheaper one, uh, so it's not... Uh, in an inexpensive way of doing it um, but this is the the three centimeter uh, thickness not rather than the two centimeter or the two and a half centimeter one and people keep asking does it make a difference absolutely 100 percent. it makes a massive massive difference um, obviously this room was all made of wood it's got solid floors and then I had it replastered, well, all plastered and then uh, insulated. So you would think that there wouldn't be much reverb or echo or anything like that. But when there was nothing in this room, it was horrendous. Okay. Since uh, putting in this foam, it's made a huge, huge difference. So anyone that's looking for some guys, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, it's from Arrowzoom. I have picked up 96 pieces. I've got around 15, 16 left over. Um, really easy to put on if you haven't obviously seen the video i'll link it down below as well but please don't use the 3m tape it comes with unless you're wanting to uh, put them all again back up the next morning when you come back into either your bedroom or wherever your office space is because they are absolute crap i would suggest getting some spray glue if you're not looking to uh, worry about bothering your walls it's been up there now for around four or five months and well, three, four months, shall I say, and it's got no intention of moving anywhere. So that's my setup, guys. Um, I just want to say a massive appreciation to every single one of you that subscribed recently. We've recently just gone above 200 subscribers as well, which is absolutely phenomenal. So thank you very much. So if you've got any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. If you've liked the video, leave me a thumbs up. If you've got any ideas for the next video or next couple of videos that are over the channel over the next couple of months, then leave some suggestions down below as well. And what I'm really interested in, if you've got a particular gaming setup or a studio such as mine, which isn't inside your own house, okay, maybe a cabin, maybe a shed, maybe an outbuilding or so, something weird and wonderful, then 
drop me an email and I'll leave the, the details below uh, in the description because I'd like to take some inspiration from your guys' setups as well and maybe implement something into my setup uh, that you guys are currently doing as well. Not only that, but if, there, if we get enough of them, what I'd like to do is maybe do a video covering your guys' setups, what the good things are, what the bad things are, what we could improve on, or development areas, etc, etc. So if you've got anything that you'd like to share, feel free to obviously email me down below as well. So guys, happy 2021, and I look forward to you in the next video. Peace.